Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a flip through and first impressions of the Elemental Wisdom Tarot. This is by Teroteca Studios. See right there. And I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, oh, I forgot about this card. One of the cards in this deck came with a printing error um, in the High Priestess. They did, however, notice the error, and I think for anybody that's buying or purchasing decks now, um, you do have to add a note on your purchase somewhere to let them know, hey, I want the correct High Priestess card instead of the one with the incorrect title on it. So just FYI, you'll see it when we get to it, but look, look at this. This is a deck that they're coming out with in 2021, which I'm definitely gonna buy and then this one is one that they're doing for 2022 which i'm also gonna buy damn that looks creepy but i like it look how much detail is in there okay let's get to the flip through so this is the bag this deck currently only comes with this backing. Um, I believe the Dark Mansion Tarot came with two different backings that you can choose from, but this one just has the one and it is black edged as well. And I don't know if it comes in two different sizes like the Dark Mansion Tarot, but I chose the regular tarot size. Has a beautiful rose petal finish, which I love. These colors are so vibrant. Oh look, the dog's trying to get the bell on there. I just noticed that. That's so cute. The magician. Look at the detail on the marble right here. This feels so nice. You got your cups, pentacles, wands, and your souls, your infinity symbol right there. I love the lightning back here and like the hints of light on them or how they how the artist did that on the clothes. That's really cool. There's water back there. Oh, here it is, High Priestess. So the word high is spelled incorrectly, as you can see. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to ship me a corrected High Priestess card. Um, because I didn't get the corrected card with this deck. If they don't, I'm cool with it. I don't mind. I feel like it adds character to the deck anyways. And I could just be like, I got one of the originals that were first shipped out to people because it came with the incorrected card here. This one's pretty. Look at these butterflies. The Empress. Whoa. Why does this look like, um, oh, I can't remember her name. It just like slipped my mind. She played Catwoman in the Batman movie in the 90s. What's her name? I can't remember it. I'm so mad at myself right now. But that's what she looks like. The Emperor. Sorry if I'm shaky, my, um, my nerves or my nerve, my damaged nerve is acting up and this arm tends to shake a lot when the nerve is inflamed, which is on my neck. Look at this though, that's so pretty. The Hydrophant. Now look at the detail on his aged face. We have the keys back there. Dang, even like on, what is this, tapestry or whatever he's wearing? Look at all that detail. I can't imagine how it'd look with a bigger version of the card. <gasps> oh my god, look at these colors on the lover's card, y'all. I'm loving this, this like deep blue violet in here. Oh, the chariot are wolves. It's so cute. And look at the light back here. It 
just, it feels warm with that sunlight. I think there's two cars here. Yeah. A strained car. Ooh, I love her hair. That's pretty. Again, with the warm tones here, even like with their hair and the lion's mane and the glow that's coming off of here. The hermit. Look at the detail on the hermit's face. Again, they're capturing their aged face very well. Even like if you look closely, the detail on the candle inside. This is cool. I like this, how they have the branches coming out. There's two cars here. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, there's a snake right there. That is a cool wheel. Just is. For a second, I thought she was peeking. Just a little bit. Are there two cards here? No. Oh crap, the hanged man. Totally became one with the tree. How long have you been there, sir? Oh, I like their tattoos. This is cool, though. Is this one card? <laughs> Look at this fuchsia, fuchsia, no, teal. Look at this teal coloring right here. That's gorgeous. That face looks kind of weird. Can't tell if that's the real face or a mask. But man, this right here, I love it. Temperance. I feel like normally Teroteca Studios, they make their decks very vibrant. Like the colors be popping. Look at the purples right here. Is this, um,. I don't know if that's lavender or lilac. I'm not sure. Look at that butterfly. Lime greens to pinks. That's cool. A devil. That is a badass devil. This just made me think of the video game Diablo. This devil has four arms. Technically, because you got like weird bug arms and then human arms. You got bondage going on there. Damn, that is a huge, what would this be a spear or a sword or both? Look at the detail on there. Very nice. Look at the colors on this tower card. So many beautiful colors. Hey, there's a galaxy in there. What? What is that? That's cool. There's a little galaxy inside the tower. That's awesome. Now, but look at the clouds. The star. Look at the detail on the dress. And again, like the glow that they give. Even the glow in the star. I'm here for it. Ooh, look at this moon guard. I love how the reds pop. <gasps> look, she has a little crab tattoo. And the wolf and the dog. Oh, that's cool. I like that concept. And here you have the, looks like a galaxy road or something. Aw, look at this sun guard. All right, Teletubbies, huh, huh? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> this is a vibrant ass sun guard. Look at the wee baby. Totally Teletubbies though. First thing that came to my mind when I saw that sun was Teletubbies. 
judgment. There's a lot of butterflies I'm noticing so far in the major arcanas. Look at those wings. <gasps> oh my god, rainbows! This card is so pretty. I love rainbows. Look at this. Even the snake looks happy all around the world. This is beautiful right here. Oh look, you have Technically the elements, right? Earth, water, fire. Air would be what's helping, I guess, sway the, what are these called? Banners? That's so cool. Oh, now we're on the minor arcanas. Holy shit, this is a vibrant ass. Ace of Wands, look at this fire. Oh my God. Is that, what is that, a snake? No? It looks like a snake. I don't think it is. It's so pretty though. There's like two cards here, I think. Yeah. I know I feel another one. There you go. Two of wands. Alright, looks like we're getting some diversity in here, which I love. This is cool. Where are you? This is a cool looking building. Look at these arches. It's like, uh, it makes me think that they're in, in an oasis. Is that what they're called? An oasis. Three of Wands. Again, the, the lighting, the way the artist did this is beautiful. Capturing the lighting hitting the figure's legs here, and even on the wands right there as well. There's a few cards stuck, one second. Okay. Four of wands. So pretty. Oh, focus. Isn't that gorgeous? And you got little doves up there. Totally screams marriage or wedding. Five of wands. Look how bright and poppin' this background is. I love it. Six of wands. <gasps> I love this headpiece here. It reminds me of my people. Oh, nice corset. Doesn't this look like Rihanna? For real though. Seven of Wands. I love the tattoos that they have on them. Would these be considered tribal tattoos? I think so. Whoa. Look at this fiery eight of wands. So vibrant. Is this two cards? No? I keep thinking there's like two cards in there. Okay, we're good because it's the nine of wands here. So this made me think of the Predator, the movie The Predator. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but usually, or no, not the movie, the comics. Within like their Predator world, the, each Predator has like a female warrior with them, and this is pretty much what they look like, which is very beautiful. Again, I'm loving these, this tribal art here on them, tribal body art. Oh, look at their wand, that's cool. This is two cards right here. Ten of Wands. Oh, you look tired. Page of Wands. This is two cards. Nope. Knight of Wands. Dang, Rhino. 
That's badass though. He's on a rhino. Oh look, that you got detail back here too. You got the trees back there. This is so cool. <sighs> oh my God, look at this queen of wands. Again with that gorgeous headpiece and beautiful sunflowers. I am loving this. Okay, this is two cards right here. King of Wands. Look at the greens in here. And their throne. That's beautiful. The detail on the throne. And then you got the little... I don't know if they'd call these houses or huts. I don't say houses because that's where they live. With the little houses back there too. Now we're on the cups. This is the Ace of Cups. Damn, look at these colors. Look at those fishes. The other Ace uh, Ace of Wands also had this like geometric design behind it. I'm wondering if it's the same geometric symbol or different for all of them. And on the wands, if you notice, there are a lot of fiery tones in there. So in the cups, it, they'd be a lot of watery tones, right? Why does that look like Keanu Reeves? <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> Is it just me? Does that look like Keanu Reeves at a certain angle? Maybe? Three of Cups. Four of Cups. This is, look at the scales on there. That's so pretty. I want, I want to see another kind of mermaid. Because I love mermaids. I want to be a mermaid. Oh, I like her headpiece here. It's like a fall headpiece. Interesting placement of that leaf to cover the meeps. Six of Cups. Oh, look at the scales. Look at those goldfish. Big old eyeball. <laughs> Seven of Cups. There's nothing in the Seven of Cups. Well, there's nothing in the actual cups is what I'm trying to say. Usually, I think with the Seven of Cups, we're used to seeing each cup have something different in it, right? I wish they would have added that in here. Eight of Cups. Oh, this is definitely in a deep underwater mermaid with the colors that's on them and like the glow. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. Oh, I like how they did the scales right there. That's cool. Oh, are those sharks? Those, I think that's a shark and one right there. Look at those fishes. No, look at the dolphin! Knight of Cups. Um, Thor, maybe, <laughs> when he had shorter hair. There's the cards stuck. Queen of Cups. Look at the fishes, so colorful. King of Cups. And 
here. Look at the armor right here. It's so detailed. Even the chest hair, Jesus Christ. Now we're on the swords. Oh, look at the birds. Vibrant looking birds. Again, you got the geometric symbol on the ace. Two of swords. And she's floating. Look at the detail on their feet. Dang, man. For a second, I'm like, is this like a, like a photograph? No, this is, this looks like they were painted by the way the artwork kind of looks. Whoa. Three of swords. Ooh, it's kind of the detail in this heart. I like how it's shaped as like a cartoon heart or like a heart a child would draw, right? But the inside of it, that just looks like some real guts and gore and stuff like that which i love you know it's just interesting how they did that they kind of like meshed two together four swords i like the glow that's coming off of the fire on the candles and like this smoke that's coming off of i'm assuming her She's either really cold or really toasty <laughs> if she has smoke coming off of her. Oh God. Five of swords. What is, what? What is this? Whatever this is has blood on it. Looks like a piece of cloth or clothing. And you got a snake there. Bird bones, I'm assuming. That's a bird head. But I'm wondering if this is, if that's a person or maybe a part of a flag. <gasps> there it is. Wait, so that's there. Hold up. Hold up. Look at that. Look at that. You got blood right there. There's blood right there. Mm. Mm hmm. Six of swords. Well, I mean, at least they were able to get away from whatever all that was on the five of swords seven of swords again the lighting in here you could tell there's like some light source under him as he's climbing up because of the glow that they add here the detail that's so cool is that a dog what is that it looks like a dog oh i like the reds in here Eight of Swords. And look at the detail on the sword. Nine of Swords. Is this the same woman? No, she has way longer hair. For a second, I was gonna say this is her, but in bed, like she woke up from an Eight of Swords dream or something, or nightmare. Are those swords different? No, they're all the same. Really pretty though. Ooh. Ten of Swords. Well, they're not. Swords aren't actually puncturing her though. They're puncturing around her, but not her. Age of Swords. Oh, is that a hawk? Knight of Swords. I think that's a hawk. Queen of Swords. That's pretty. I'm loving that dress though. It's giving me like pirate vibes for some reason. Like from here down, pirate. Maybe it's the, her waistband or something. I don't know. It just screams pirate to me. Oh, look at that pretty bird. And that detailed headpiece. King of Swords. 
That's a cool throne right there. Again with the details and the foliage. Even like here, I'm, I'm assuming this is supposed to be like fur, but just like the way they painted it. That looks cool. Oh, now we're on the coins. Or pentacles. Look at these flowers. And you have the geometric symbol on the back on the ace again. I believe they're all the same. They all, they're all looking the same now, now that I've seen the last ace. Two of coins. Look at all that greenery. Three of coins. Oh, you, you gotta be careful not to fall off that roof, bro. These coins look so cool though. Four coins. Look at the treasure. That's a lot of goodies right there. Oh, is that a crown? Yes. Look at the detail on their clothes. Even like the bookshelf, oh my God. Oh my God. Five of coins. This, for some reason, I can I can feel the not the season, but I can feel the temperature of the card. If that makes any sense, like feeling how she's feeling right now with the rain and being there underneath the tree with no actual cover. Six of coins. Look at that face. That's a that's a smile of a given person right there. It's like here do you go. Seven of coins. Oh, I like the colors in the dress or the skirt. I think that's a skirt or maybe a blanket. Eight of coins. A blacksmith at work. Look at the detail right here. Or even back here, she had the detail everywhere. What are you talking about? Nine of coins. Snail. That's a cool gate. Ten of coins. Oh, these, these beautiful flowers again. I don't know what type of flower that is, but it's really pretty. Um, I forget. I know this shape means something. I forget what it is though. But instead of having like the figures that you usually see in the Ten of Coins, they're not in here. It's just flowers and the Ten Coins in that specific shape, which I can't remember what it means. Page of Coins. Knight of Coins. Queen of Coins. Whoa, look at her dress. Dang. That's a lot of detail. King of Coins. That is a fancy uh, backyard you have, sir. Guessing that's your house there, too. Look at, look at his throne. There's a lion behind him. This deck, just like the Dark Mansion Darrow, is a vibrant as heck, which I love. This deck is really nice. It feels great. Um, because of the size of it, it feels ex the exact same uh, thickness of the card as the Dark Mansion Darrow. So because of that, already knowing that, I think it's gonna, it's probably gonna shuffle like a dream too. Oh, look, you can see the coloring in here. 
your cups are blues, your wands are reds, your swords would be like gray tones, and then your coins have more green tones. Cool. What was I gonna say? Oh, now would I dub this as a beginner, intermediate, or expert level deck? Um, I think this is good for beginner, beginner deck. The only thing though that might confuse you is with the, what was it? The 10 of coins. Oh, I should have mixed it up already. The 10 of coins, um, cause I think with the original RWS, you see that design on the 10 of coins, but you also have like figures and other things to work with. And I think the other one was probably the eight of cups. I can't remember, but I feel like that should have had more in it as well as the Seven of Cups. Um, but other than that, I do feel like this is a beginner deck or a deck that is in pretty much an all around good deck for any level of tarot reader that you are. And I think that is it. Oh, it is regular tarot size, at least the version that I bought. Um, I don't remember if they have a bigger version of this deck but I got the regular tarot size version. And I think that is it, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do some practice readings with this to get used to the deck. If you guys have any questions, oh, actually I did wanna mention, um, it shipped on November 24th and it arrived on December 7th is when it actually arrived. So again, this did not take that long for it to get to me. Um, I did place my order in September, but the deck was obviously not out yet by then. So totally understandable, but it did take about 10 to 12 business days to ship to me, which is great. Instead of waiting months, like I've heard some people say, back in the day, or at least hopefully back in the day when they ordered decks from Teroteca. So yeah, it didn't take that long to ship to me. I am in the US, so just wanted to let you guys know about that too. And if you have any other questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.